Hello and welcome back to In My Image. We are destabilizing Altan Kom here. And uh, we are we are winning. Mainly because our troop composition is way better than theirs. They called in all of their tribal vassals and won one battle, but we have won the rest, so I'm not uh, I'm not too worried. We are still the hub of uh, death and disease here with the fact that we have the only cities in the world. At least almost. There are some more people uh, feudalizing now, but hardly any of them have coastal cities. As you can see here, there are a few of them, and here as well. Let's take a look, actually. Yep, and uh, because we have deadly uh, major epidemics on, uh, or actually, I think it's... Yeah, major epidemics are set to deadly. We can get outbreaks of the Black Death at any point in time. Oh, so many raiders. Just go away. Let's see, childhood focus for you will be thrift and a nice bout of intrigue. Why not? Now I want to go and plunder some churches. When are you going to arrive? December. This is mountains. Let's hope I catch some of them. Right, we have some peasants revolting. Hmm. Random, uh, random people. Who, who is your head here? Why do I have your children in my court? Take them back. Interesting. Right, we're gonna catch this army and destroy it. Glorious. Right, we have a church here. Let's uh, take it on. This should give a nice bun, a nice uh, bit of war score. Let's go back before we suffer too much attrition. And why not get ourselves lustful? Come back to court with me. Now we get a lover. Let's see. <laughs> I have a 62-year-old lover. And I also have a 17-year-old lover. Uh, Altani of the Wilds. A new steward. Who wants to be my steward? Uh, you do. How about you collect some money for me? Thank you. Oh no, I didn't catch them. Should be able to catch them here though. There we go. And I caught someone. Can I uh, ransom you for some money? Yes! No one else wants to be uh, ransom though. Go and get some more churches plundered. I do want to earn a bit of money from this, and so far I've had to take a loan from the Jews, so uh, not exactly earning money per se. Send 5,000 men over here. Wipe up the 2,500 man stack over there. My vassals are usurping quite a bit of stuff. Not exactly sure what you. We need to take care of this massive peasant revolt later on. At least it's just a peasant revolt, so that's that's nice. Uh, independence. Mm, let's pay them off. Or do you want to marry someone I know? Hmm. Probably not. Oh, and you don't even have... You, yeah, you, no, you don't have any children. Okay. May I uh, interest you in a small gift? Playful fussy. Commander will be you. Alright, that's fine. Yeah, let's take another church, just for the money. A little bit of money. Alright, we have one destabilization more. How much will we actually get? <laughs> That's four years of income for the guy. It's 27 gold. But at least we get 500 prestige. That's something. Alright, now we need to go and clean this mess up. Alright, we got some Tengerleg Sar heretics. Another one. No. 
Hmm. We have to see what we can do about that. Our court chaplain isn't exactly the sharpest tool in the box. So let's put him to the test. So it looks like the Al Tankom did not have an independence faction. Uh, actually, they had had the time to start the faction before I won the war. But now they are publicly humiliated, which means that their vassals will join uh, the independence faction with almost 100% guarantee. Actually, not 100% guarantee. It completely depends still, but they will be uh, extremely incentivized to do it. What's going on up here, by the way? You have a captured random piece of Finland. Is this what you wanted? Not sure. No one else is feudalizing. Not yet. It's taking more and more land from the poor... Uh... Well, what's it called? The, the bear. Even more peasants. Oh. Clear out the host if possible. Even more peasant jobs. Good thing we have the armies raised. Dukus. Hmm, affectionate, curious, haughty. Diplomacy for you. Uh, do I want to become greedy? Uh, I think charitable is better. Just in general. Make it easier to uh, appease the vassals. Well, the brother-in-law, don't really care for him. Oh yes, an example to all, diligent. Still can't ask you to return, so uh, I guess you will have to be out in the field until you die and take over. You've got a hunting dog at least, annoyed the religious authorities too. Still don't like the fact that he's dull, but what can you do? Patient is a great trait. Peasants taken care of. Not all of them though, we have some more. There we go. Slaughter them. Neat, alright. Now we can have some fun and... Uh... Can we honor the divine? No, we, we, we're gonna save some of these uh, for honoring the divine with. We can uh, ransom one of them for 46 gold, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. Send the troops back home. I won't give up. Now we can uh, honor the divine. And worship the ancestors. So, do I still have... All the disease in my capital. No, I do not. The disease seems to be in Italy and Greece, along with northern Germany right now. So I will once again ask for prosperity and growth for my realm. Please. I really, really want some prosperity and growth for my realm. And I will give you this uh, concubine that used to belong to Khan Bagaridae the Crew. He was an architect. What a waste. I want one more sacrifice. Yeah, 53 year old Salkini Mongol. May the ancestors bestow their blessing upon me. And here's my uh, retinue army. What? What? No, I did. Ah! Right, an independence faction. Can we appease them? Uh, take a gift. And uh, not wow, that guy was greedy as I don't know what. I don't want to waste too much money. That was a feudal vassal, by the way. Um, where was he? Where are you? A car. Oh, it's of course it's that one in the north. What did I expect?
Let's take a look at laws. Can I enact a law? Yeah, centralization. Burger tax. Uh, tribal tax. They're all opponents, though, so. Could revoke this. Perhaps. Let's see. Who is. Alright, so um, someone is buying all the favors here. Is there anything I can enact? I guess centralization is the best. Yeah, let's go for it. At least we use the cooldown for something. So my granddaughter... You want... <laughs> so I... You want a non-aggression pact after I destabilized you. Well, I don't blame you. So why not? Here you go. And the uh, Koryal Time Multan has lost a few uh, dukes. They will probably gain them back. <laughs> Poor Bukid Panagalu. Losing more and more land constantly. To me, no less. My vassals are insane. Goodbye, old friend. I don't even need a new horse, to be honest. I've had enough. Go on a tiger hunt to increase the prosperity. No disease so far, which is brilliant. And I can technically expand my domain now. I don't want to revoke any titles though. Ew, that was close. I still haven't killed a tiger. <gasps> oh, there we go! A most successful hunt. A slain tiger means luck for the realm and everyone heads home with new optics. Rejoice! Um, mm. Can I build anything in my capital? Oh, by the way, I can murder myself a nice um, barony. Yeah. There we go. Let's see if anyone wants to uh, join this plot. Oh, how about everyone wants to join this plot? Actually, not that much plot power. Can I get some insane plot power? No, I can get 12 more. That's fine. This is my vassal, so I'll just give him some money. Serves a dual purpose. More Tanger Legs are. And it's all, like, concentrated in this area. You're, uh, you're still the true faith, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Ah, uh, hmm. Poor Aguchu Berle. What's going on here? You're defending against destabilization by Mecklenburg. <laughs> Let's look at that guy. Hi, Chief. Shidukul, the able. Well, <laughs> you're not able to see clearly out of that fake eye. That's for sure. Agathai suffering from some revolts. Shigu Vidin. And uh, Korshia has seen better days. I don't care about if he knows if I plot against him or not. <laughs> no, he's just got one single province left. I'm getting a very strong vassal here in the form of my cousin. At least he likes me. That's something, I suppose. Maybe we've got a massive peasant revolt here. So what is what is going on in the world of feudalism? We have a someone here has um, gone ikta, and here we have yeah a duke with an actual theocrat vassal. And here we have a, an independent uh, peasant revolt that has decided to settle down in a castle. All of these raiders. Go away. Ah, there we go. The Independence League War. And that is slightly... Actually evenly matched, I would say, because the, they don't have any money. I'm looking forward to when I fi can fight some uh, feudal nations with destabilization. Because then I can actually get some money for my problem. <laughs> for my trouble. Ah! Get away! Uh, I fulfilled my ambition to build a war chest. Get some more. 
um, tax for a few years. And no disease yet. Ah, I love it. Got so much disease. Yes, finally, back up to prospering. And this is definitely from Ancestor Worship. Uh, the last few seasons I've been treating my capital Dibble well, and by well I mean excellent. Trade is flourishing, and even the most peasants seem fed and happy. While I do take some credit for this prosperity, I am convinced that my ancestors have been protecting us. And, this, and we see the picture of this lady we offered up in sacrifice. So I would say it's a, it's a clear correlation. So, very many raiders. They are all attracted to my rich cities. That's actually how their code works, so that's why we have all of them here. As soon as I look away, they try to seize the loot from the loot bar, if nothing else. Ah, and I died. So I died unnatural death at the age of 58, Khan Cthulhu II. And uh, succeeding us is Khan Cthulhu III. Ever willing to entertain his spouse, we expect the royal family to grow and prosper. Long live Count Cthulhu the Third. Not exactly sure. I don't even have a spouse. But anyway, let us get some. Oh, a genius! But this isn't too bad. But I need someone with higher stewardship, to be honest, um, because of my domain limit. Who do I want? Do I want my kinswoman? Is there anyone better I can get? Someone with like a mixture of high stewardship and high... Uh, yeah, sure. She is, she's great. Let's get some money. I already have loads of prestige. 7 out of 6. Now I can change another centralization law, I suppose. To get that last bit of uh, domain filled out. I need some more wives. I will get her. She's great. Lots of Mongol looking wives. I want the, the genius. And I also want... Now I want some other... Uh, Look at all of the Mongol wives there are. Are there no other ones at all? They're all Mongols. Okay. That's disappointing. I thought we would see some more Indian-looking uh, Indian characters around. But I guess we will all degenerate back to... Uh, or not degenerate, but uh, regress back to looking all Mongolian in almost no time whatsoever. Because um, of the simple fact that these culture will all spawn... Uh, they are all tied to the Mongol graphical culture. So that's what they will prefer. Get rid of the heresy, patriarch. Hmm. Alright, so we currently have a discontent council. Independence. Let's give you some money. Offer a non aggression pact. Can we offer with anyone else? Yes, we can. Or we couldn't, actually. What traits do we have? We have, as much as brilliant strategist, dull, adventurer. This is great. This is an amazing trait. Temperate, patient, lustful, cruel, and diligent. Uh, these are all good. Let us honor the divine. And hold the grand tournament. <laughs> How about just one more sacrifice? How many prisoners do I have? Lots of children. Oh, right, I need to put my uh, chromophobes here. No, not more disease. Measles. Why? Someone else go uh, feudal. Take the diseases from me. We have an, a theocracy here? Oh, it's a revolt, I see. 
Lover's Memento, Maidservant, Lover, Seducer. You're not a very good priest, are you? Lover's Pox, Hedonist. Well, you're a good Norse priest, I presume. What shall this be then? Ah, let's go for Groom and Heir, because it's hilarious to see how many children we can pump out in no time whatsoever. We have the dog. Could go with something else, but uh, I'm not sure if anything else here is relevant. Maybe business. We go for business to get some more uh, money. Alright, so we have an independence faction firing. I will not be blackmailed. Let's see if we can win this. I am fairly certain we can win this. Alright, guys, all gather up in this province. Try to not. Oh, so the grand tournament is still going on. I didn't actually know that. Oh well, no, my dog died! Rejected. What? There we go. The marshal can increase uh, the levy size of my capital. Most unfortunate. Try to not get yourself killed. So down here we have a rather sizable army, but it's all um, tribal troops. Ah. You can't fool me. This army needs to take another route. Uh, we will destroy the feudal army first, because it's the most dangerous uh, of the two. This is enough. Apparently I am getting whatever disease is in here. No, I've already had measles. I can't get measles again. Great Pox. I would prefer not to get the Great Pox. Tamachi clad your bed in wet grass and told you to sleep on this nature's embrace against your rash. Is my... Uh, I, I don't have a horse as a court physician, right? No? Uh, it sounds like something a horse would recommend me to doing. In the office multiplayer, by the way. In the CK2 office multiplayer. Uh, I'm expanding as a rather powerful um, sultan in uh, the Armenia region, and I'm I'm glorious. I have loads of prestige, and, and my character keeps getting all of these events uh, where he, for, firstly, he, he's a syphilitic lunatic with almost no stats. Uh, he has a horse for a court physician that smeared him in manure to cure his disease. I'm not lying about this. So that that's the most powerful sultan in the area. It's literally a syphilitic lunatic that lets his horse take a take massive dumps on him. Um, and I find that hilarious, like the the dis the disconnect between the powerful emperor and the absolute lunatic that he actually is. There we go, we should be able to intercept. Battles, some smaller battles here. Oh, you're pa patting right through, aren't you? Great. Uh, diligent. Right, take care of them. Uh, didn't I have. No, of course, it was, it was my father that had measles. As long as you know what you're doing, I'm not cutting my face off for this. Another peasant revolt. This is what I'm talking about. It's gonna. It's not very hard at the moment, but it's gonna get harder and harder and harder. Uh, to keep my realm together. And let's go. Stop. Stop with the tribes. Stop occupying my tribes. So many peasants. I guess you can go and. Who's this? It's a host. Uh, occupy this other thing and then. My court physician is doing it. Like, I mean, our court physician is working on overdrive because of all the diseases we're getting in our capital. And see, education, focus, uh, martial, uh, intrigue. This is a peasant revolt. Let's get rid of it. Get over there. Alright, you're fighting someone actually. 
Who are you fighting? You are... Okay, someone is just helping me against the... Uh... Well, I, I thank you, I suppose. Very helpful of my muscle. What the actual... <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm, uh, get away from my capital. I need to start building even more fortifications here. Uh, 40... Castle fortification. There we go. I have the money for it now. 7k down there. Right, you're taking back your stuff. Let's go and kill the peasant revolt in the south. Hopefully I'll win this. Yes. Won it easily. Need more... Uh... Oh no, my poor... <laughs> Wow, bedridden with measles and ill treatment. That's so sad. My five year old little sister is gonna die from measles, of all things. Well, I am not gonna die from measles, at least. So that's something. Craven. Not the best of traits, I would say. Okay. Let's get rid of this guy. How are my factions? Elective succession, a jive for Bayadia. At least there's no more independence factions while I am fighting an independence faction. I am very thankful for that. Let's ransom this uh, random priest. Where did you get a random priest from, by the way? Is it from over here somewhere? I suppose it must be. How is it looking on the feudalization front? No one else has feudalized, and the vassals are very behind when it comes to feudalization, except for this Duke Todogen of Bolgar. He's a homosexual hedonist. Lovely. Lots of uh, hedonists with seduction focus everywhere. <laughs> they really like seduction and carousing focus, almost everyone has it. Who is this Konkana? Alright, it's you. Kill. Wait, what? Who is... when? You are attacking... You... wait, who, who is attacking who here? Alright, so you both had cows on your uh, coat of arms, that's why I was... No, yeah, that's a cow, that's an elephant... What are you doing? You're attacking with a claim on Gangavadi. Is Gangavadi a... Uh... Oh yeah, it's a, it's a duchy. We have some duchy level claims going on here. Which I like. <sighs> Diligent. Yes, absolutely. Man, I can't wait until uh, 20 years has passed. And we get some... Um, uh, more revolts popping up in the AI nations, if nothing else. Uh, let's go for thrift. Struggle. You want a um, white piece? Yeah. All right, let's go for white piece. I don't hold a grudge, so uh, as long as you don't join independence factions immediately again, you're a pretender and claimant to the kingdom of Bayadia. But that's the geni my genius uh, half brother, so doesn't surprise me. Uh, what about you then? You're just angry for not being on the council. Uh, maybe I can rectify that? Uh, I'm not sure if you deserve to be on the council after betraying me like that. Once again, our domain is littered with raiders. Go away. Hmm, what do we want? Some castle infrastructure? Yeah. Hmm. Mm, not sure. I want more legalism, I guess. This greed does not become you. Uh, let's get you married. Worshipped ancestors. Yes. Love this. Um, prosperity and growth for my realm is the only thing I can ask for, apparently, so I will ask for it. Let's sacrifice this young lady. 
17 years old. Into the <laughs> onto the altar with you. Let's see, there's a whole bunch of raiders up here I need to take care of. I can actually dismiss my regular levies. Don't need them for this. Is any of my vassals feudalized yet? No. Yo, you need a you need a market village. Let's actually try to get you up. You need a market village as well, but you're building something else at this very moment. You're not even close. Lots of, lot, a lot of these people are not even close. That's the sad part. You are pretty close. You are not. Oh well. Eventually they will come to it. Ah. I was never craven. It was all a lie. Wish my. Oh no! Now you're unlanded. <laughs> oh no, and I gave you land just for this. And I can't really find any more land for you. Unfortunately, you were apparently not destined to last. I'm surprised that these vassals that are independent have not been uh, murdered yet by my ferociously aggressive vassals. Have you expanded beyond your borders? No, you're exactly your borders, Temujin Rothas. The rest of the Indian kingdoms are in complete turmoil. And... Um, well, the rest seem to be in semi-turmoil. Nothing that they can't handle, at least. Ungvar is apparently uh, independent and destabilizing their, their old parent realm. Yes, let's organize an expedition. I love this one. Buy a merchant ship for the journey. Oh, nice! You managed to actually convert something. That's uh, more than I expected. Of course, it would be an honor to have you with me. Yield good profits. Right, give me a whole bunch of money and preferably a friend as well. Alright, so we're going to the Khalid Bira. Your expedition has finally reached the realm of Khan Bogen. Your steward asks you what gift we shall bring forth. Do you like me? Uh, a dozen strong horses. Um, I'm hungry too. No. I'm trying to teach this barbarian some manners. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. You're angry with me. And we became good friends. So now I have a cool one-eyed man with a bucket on his head for a friend. And some money, preferably. Yeah, 500 gold, 150 prestige, and the uh, trade routes. And... I get some prosperity in my capital, along with the trader bonus and business contacts. And I want to become greedy, I think. Greedy is good. Greed is good. Let's go for some more fortifications, because I want to get rid of all the super annoying raiders. Anyone who can build castle fortifications, build castle fortifications. Unless you can build a castle town. Wow, that's a massive, massive peasant revolt army. Anyway, uh, that is it for this episode. I'll see you again soon.